There are so many discoveries that I've had along my career. And students, I'd just like to share some information and hopefully help you once you start to exit school. The first thing I want you to remember is I once sat where you sit. I too went to beauty school. There were a lot of things I liked, a lot of things I disliked. But what I discovered was that I was there for a reason, and that was to learn. I want you to focus when you put your hand on that door to walk into that school, whatever is going on in your world, leave it outside the school. Walk inside of that school for intent and purpose. And that is that you are in school to get a license of beauty, whether it be esthetician, nails, skin, hair, whatever it happened to be. But you're there for a reason. You're there for a career job. See, I like to look at this interview. It's not a job. It's not. It is not a job. It's a career. I need you to get that. So now when you say, well, Sam, I really haven't decided what I want to do. You'll decide that while you're in school. Maybe you'll see something, you'll get inspired. You'll get inspired maybe to become an esthetician, get into skin where you thought might be hair. There are so many avenues you can walk down. It's your choice. One of the things I want to recommend to you is this. When you are ready to get out of school, I want you to think about the salons that you might want to be a part of. I want you to walk into those salons introduce yourself and ask them if you can just sit in your reception, in their area, and just sit in their reception area, their waiting area. And when you sit there, I want you to listen to what you hear. I want you to watch the type of work that they're putting out. How do they communicate with their clients, their guests? How do they treat their guests? How professional are they at the chair? That's gonna give you a little hint if, and ask yourself, is this salon something that you want to be a part of. Ask them, do you have an associate program? If they say they do, ask to see it in writing. If they can't show it to you in writing, then they don't have one. They're going to build it and get you to work there and help them along the road and learn along the way. Now, you're probably thinking, well, Sam, I'm not going to do an associate program. I'm going to find a salon. I'm going to write to a salon. Fine. Go for it. But then I really suggest you really pay attention at school 110%. Why? Because when you go into a salon and you're at the chair, you're going to be learning by trial and error. You're going to be learning by what you know. When you go into a salon that has an associate program, that are, you are learning for people, from people that have a tons of experience, years of experience that you don't have. Remember, it's experience that has gotten me to this level. One of the most in key important things when people ask me questions, how did you get there? It's all education. It was, you know, something about, you have to understand, continue to learn. You know, I choose to be a teacher in this industry. You know, I'm not an inventor. I'm not a genius. I'm not a rock star. I'm not a, 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 a person that projects. I am a hairdresser who is proud to be a teacher. I'm the person that goes out and finds it, breaks it down, and gives it to you. I'm not an inventor. And I love doing that because my purpose in this career is to help hairdressers be better hairdressers. Your purpose as a hairdresser standing at the chair is to meet the needs and expectations of the guest that is sitting in your chair. Communication skills will build your wealth. So remember those little tips that I've shared with you. Those have worked for me. Explore the salons and sit them. You'll find the right one that will work for you. And remember, my friends, education. As a hairdresser, you must never cease to learn. So I expect to see you at a hair show, whether it be live or whether it be digital. They're both huge resources to grow your career. Good luck. Stay focused and you will succeed.